Hello everyone, and welcome back. My name's Nicholas, and this is Major Crit. We're busy getting our sword tempered at upgrade, I think maybe our final upgrade. Um, but it's gonna take him a while to do that. So let me do the old trick of leaving a couple of screens, and then coming back and seeing if it's magically done. Hey guys, done yet with the work? Or will it actually take time? Your sword is tempered up! Now hold it! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Great, your sword is stronger. You can feel the sheer power flowing through your body. We got an orange sword now. I can only assume it's blazing hot with power. Oh. Hello. Because the key is locked inside this chest, you can never open it. Just take it with you. Oh. How did I know that your key was locked inside the chest? Um. Oh. Ah, I cannot run. I try to start using my boots. I drop it. Now, I actually do remember what to do here. Uh, can I? Probably if I jump down a cliff, it's going to get left behind, right? No. All right, all right, all right, sweet. I really thought it was going to get left behind. Uh, which is why I did it near the edge, where I could just walk around and grab it. Okay. So, um, do you remember that guy who got annoyed at us and then followed us around? Turns out that the guy who follows you around can help you with a chest that follows you around. Now, it said just take it with you. I can only assume that that means that, like, Link is somehow dragging this along with him. I'm not sure how. We've actually not been through here in the Dark World yet, because we saw it was a dead end and an entrance to a later dungeon. So we kind of put it off. Was there anything value around here before we use mirror? Big rock, nope, nothing. Black rock, nope, nothing. Black rock mountain? No, that's something else entirely. Okay, wanna use. Much care for you. Probably that indicates a place we can use a mirror and be like on a different elevation. Worth looking into. But not right now. Yeah, you. I heard that you know I used to be a thief, right? Sort of. Well, I'll open a chest for you if you keep it secret from everyone else. Would you please promise? I'll promise not to tell. Sweet. This is a magic bottle. All right, so that's our last magic bottle, I'm pretty sure. So let's check out this thing. This line of pegs here makes me think there's a... Yep, upper thing we can get to. Sweet. Ooh, another thing we need the book for. I haven't done that in a while. Hold up the Master Sword and you'll get the magic of Bombos. Sweet. I wish that had actually killed the bird there. Oh, no. There we go. That's when it kills the bird. This is a Bombos medallion. Its magic makes the ground explode with power. Watch your magic meter. Sweet. We now have two spells. Uh, and we know that there's a third one up on Death Mountain. Yeah. That goes probably right in the middle there. Um. Hmm. I wonder... I can't remember what was on that thing. It was like we needed an item. It might have been we needed the Master Sword. Which means we might actually be able to go get it right now. Let's go ahead and get it right now, just like while we're thinking about it, right? Oh, I remember taking so much damage in this place. Yep, all right, let's just go inside. Down actually a couple fairies. Actually, I had to <laughs> redo the blind boss fight off screen. It was really annoying. So I want to, a uh, little bit of background information for you guys behind the scenes is I, uh, when I'm playing these emulated games, uh, since they've got the, you know, save state function, I tend to use that uh, for safety for my recording. It's because sometimes something goes wrong with a recording and then I have to re-record and it's a whole pain in the neck. Um, so I'll go ahead and like save save a save slot after every recording session so that I can, um, you know, re refresh if something goes wrong, if my audio turns out bad or I just <laughs> forgot to turn my mic on or something silly like that, right? Um, but, what happened this time was that, um, instead of clicking save, I accidentally clicked 
uh, load. Which means then I reset back to that save state. Like, like, uh, luckily, it was a save state that was right before the blind boss fight. So then I had to go fight him again, and then, um... Oh, uh, where I actually did worse this time. Come here. Sword is pretty good. Which I guess I should expect is... I think it's the final sword upgrade in the game. Um, anyway, so yeah. Had to go do that boss fight again, and then... Um... Go and get that piece of heart, and go and rescue the smith, and you know, just... All that stuff we did. Had to redo it. Um, I wasn't gonna tell you about it, I was just gonna, you know, have it be... A little secret that I messed up. But, hey! We're in a traveling around and, um, doing silly things mode. So, there we go. Yep. Magic of either. Lightning! This is the Ether Medallion. Its magic controls the upper atmosphere and polar wind. Watch your magic meter. We... Okay, I think that's all three magic medallions. In fact, that's all three rows. Uh, first rows of things now. We've just got three more items to go and we'll be filled out. Uh, three more crystals as well. And it looks like we've got all the items down on the bottom, though there might still be upgrades of some of those items we don't know about yet. Um, now, do we want to... I think there might have been a hookshottable place around here, like some bridge we couldn't cross. Might be worth us looking into that while we're here. Ouch. Um, now this might just be like an entrance into a dungeon I don't want to go to next, because I want to do them in order. Um, I think like the final dungeon is up here. But, technically, we could get here a lot earlier, because all we need... Ooh, there's a piece of heart. Caves we can drop down onto. What is this and where does it lead? So that drops us down further. Brings us out here. Where is here? Yeah. So we've not been on this eastern side of the mountain before. You guys get hit by boomerangs? Yes, good. Alright, so there's a portal. Back to the light world. Okay, so I think this is. Oh, right. No, we're in the light world right now. My bad. So we need to drop down on there from somewhere. Get that chest. Ah, I feel like this is all, like, a distraction right now. We're probably going to be coming here when we're going for the final dungeon. Or the final numbered dungeon of the set we're doing right now. Just poke around a little bit. Would it have been over here? Does this line up with, um... Nope, doesn't line up with anything. We have the right to fall into that other section we can't get to. Fairies, nice. We're down two fairies, and there two fairies are. Nice, four bottles worth of fairies. All of the life in the world. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I think that was just leading us out anyway. All right. That's enough of that. Let's go ahead and... Um, I'm trying to think as well. Just, are there any other... First off... Let's... Ow. 
go to the dark world just to see if there's anything here. Uh, this is definitely like the way to dungeon number seven. Let's just put that off. Let's just not deal with that right now. I want to do things in order. I see no reason to skip ahead right now. Um, let's see. We need the flute. Head over to area, say, eight. Back over to this island where I spent so much time dropping money in a pit. Now we can whoop, do that. Get in here. Sweet. Seems like a hazardous place. Here we are in another dungeon yet again. Nick, the magic flame will protect you inside this icy dungeon. Mean the fire rod? All right. Now is this? Oh, hello. Can I hurt you with sword? No. Certainly hurt you with fire, though. Okay. I thought. I'm sure there's one of these statues somewhere. I can use a tongue as like a lever or whatever. How slippery is this? Not. Ouch. <sighs> Not actually super slippery compared to some others. Certainly not like sliding ice puzzle slippery, where as soon as you walk on, you just like go all the way across. Enemies are gonna pop up from somewhere. Yep. Hey, green ones. Bought a bunch of red ones. He's like. The Dark World has just been like dungeon, 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 dungeon. Oh, these guys. Okay, sorry. I re just remember these guys. Blast from the past on that one. Ouch. I'm trying to avoid that by walking safely. The weird, oh, like old man green penguins. At least that's how I always saw them. Oh, ooh. Many floors in this dungeon. Eight floors. One above ground and seven below. I'm kind of assuming that they're not very big floors, though. I want to go up first. Well, I guess I can't go up first. Okay. And we get a sneaky little heal up from an anti-fairy turned into a fairy. Yes. That magic potion disappeared. Oh. Run away. There we go. Well, that's a dead end. No way we can push those blocks when there's stuff behind it. We must have to, like, come up from below. There we go! Block reset that time. Now we can go up here. Ah, and fall down and then come back up. That's my prediction. Let me get rid of these guys first. I'm kind of already looking and trying to think of how we deal with a little, a little bit of a puzzle here. We need to bomb that crack section, right? That's pretty obvious. Maybe if we place a bomb there and then run around. And place a bomb there. Sweet. Alright, that was pretty easy. And we drop down. Do not destroy the skeleton knight with the sword alone. When he collapses, he's vulnerable to another weapon. Oh, let's treat this guy. Oh, hey. We have fought this guy many times in many Zelda games. So we know exactly how to deal with him. Bomb him when he's down. Ouch. Ouch. He goes down pretty easily, though, as long as I'm like, don't literally get uh, dropped on top of. 
Pierce, does that bomb again? No, all right. Uh, sliding floors, not a big fan. Creepy little things. Oh, hey, a key. I wonder if I can kill those little monsters, or if I should just avoid them. Probably I should just avoid them. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know if there was a big reason for us to hit that switch, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Nope. It's the opposite of what we should have done. Come on. There we go. I always struggle when there's those moving floor situations. I like it when I'm in a hurry and I press A and instead of trying to pick up the thing I'm trying to pick up, Link decides to uh, just start shuffling his feet right in front of it. What does that do? Okay. Now, I thought there was going to be a way for us to get back up. There we go, old man penguins vanquished. Yeah, it was that room over on B1, right? On the far side had a ladder. But where we were in B2, like, didn't overlap out at all. There, there wasn't anything that was that far to the right. So maybe we'll be, like, going up a lot more. Multiple floors. Oh, that seems hazardous. How do I... Uh, I don't know how I'm supposed to deal with that. Stairs down. This. Oh. That is uh, falling into the next floor. Well. Nick, do not use all your magic power if you do not possess the medicine of magic. Now, get ready to go into the depths of this dungeon. Alright, so we will need magic for something, so don't just. Like, that actually is necessary for the dungeon, is what I'm reading from that. So don't, you know, waste all your magic here on, you know, just fighting normal enemies. And not have anyone you need to actually use the magic to solve a puzzle or something. Let me actually go through this door first. Uh, Alright. We can hook shot here. Like we haven't used our hook shot in a little while. Right. Interesting. Can we? Nice. Could just go up the stairs there. Nope, wrong thing. Come on, this thing right. I mean, obviously I'm not, but... I'm just trying to see, like, where are we in the map? on the right, so if we go up... Ah, this is going to lead us up to the first floor again. Alright, gotcha. Now we need some hammer time. Some big glove time. I guess there's a key. Hey, our hands aren't green anymore. Weird. I thought we got green hands because we got the um, ability to lift heavy things, but now our hands have changed again. Don't know what's up with that. Assuming this is still nothing. Ah, there we go. I knew it. I was going to keep trying until I got success on one of those. Alright. So. We've got a better view of the actual dungeon. Last floor is just a boss room. Let's try going through here. Right, again. There we go. Nice. Okay. 
glad we went this way. All right. Now... I need to get back down again. I don't think... I think if we try to go back down the way we just came up, we're going to run into a dead end. Should have gotten my magic powder out. There we go. Wasn't too bad. In fact, we've filled a bit. Oh, go away, you. I'm trying to remember which way we came in here originally. Got to do this again. Won't worry too much about fighting the enemies this time, other than the ones that are like directly in our way, or the ones that I just decide to have a grudge against. But they might drop us hearts. Maybe it is worth taking a swipe or two. Oh, I still got my bombs out. Don't need to swap. Huh, why am I slowing down like that? Weird. Around here, don't like this room. I always mess up on it. Ouch, 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 ouch. I'm trying to go too fast. Just getting hurt for my prob uh for my efforts. Go back here. So I put you guys, because hey, one of you might drop a heart. And one of you did drop a heart. Thank you. I appreciate it. Much Lee. There we go. See, and I think we're about to the place where our paths diverge. Got a key so we can get through here. Oh, it's just this room. Yeah. I wish this was, that was two-way. It would have been a lot faster to come back here. Well, we've done up through B3. We've got a couple more rooms on B4 to explore, and then we're B5, B6, and then B7 for the boss. But I think we'll save that for tomorrow. Um, we've gotten around pretty good. Um, got the big key. Thored maybe like half this dungeon already. Um... I'll see you guys tomorrow as we probably fight another boss. Bye.